Good afternoon. When I was looking at what I would become one day, my dream was to become an architect. Then the dream at high school was to become a veterinary surgeon. When I left school, I studied social work and then theology, and then later entered the ministry. I never saw myself as a movie star, but thanks to the skills of Mr. Huckle and Pirin Films, even though I'm many miles away, I get to be on the large screen. It is with deep regret, however, that I'm unable to be with you at your leave of service. Uh, one of my favorite movies was Four Weddings and a Funeral. In my case, the reason for my absence is simply a wedding and sadly my dad's funeral. The leavers of 2012. I would love to mention each person, but time will not allow. So just a few examples we'll have to do. I remember little Kit and Neil arriving at the prep school. Look at them now, and all the others I've known and taught for the last 10 years. Alfie Hull playing jazz at his granddad's funeral when he couldn't even reach the piano pedals. Colette Craig's anxious little face as she clutched her rugsack when we were snowed in at school some years ago. The mighty under 13 football side. Remember, Will, when in doubt, kick it out, or when there's time, down the line. James Anderson the first to be baptised in the new baptismal font at his confirmation. Wednesday afternoons at Boscowan. Alex Horsfall. Congratulations, Alex, on not being seriously injured this season. Kieran playing the staff was tougher than you thought. There's life in the old rev yet. Ache training with Joe Simpson's good humour and all the fun and learning. The privilege of travelling to Uganda with an outstanding team. From this group, Christy, Lizzie, Rosie, Charlotte and Will. The camaraderie of the second eleven this season. The leadership of Fanshawe, of course. The silky skills and determination of Tristan. And our super sub, Max, brought on simply to frighten the opposition. Quiet, valued support and encouragement of the chaplain by Joe Thompson and Alistair Cook doing duty with my prefect Philip and of course a certain lower sixth young lady. The hidden talents of my chapel steward Charity. I knew she had a good voice but I never knew she was good at dancing on tables. What would the librarians have said Charity? And Sam Heather, entrepreneur of the internet and the most reliable and supportive of chapel stewards. You are known by name. You have been a fantastic year group with a multitude of academic, cultural and sporting talents. But there is also a uniqueness in each of you with your specific God-given gifts and abilities to make a difference in the world. We know who you are. Know whose you are. The challenge is to remember who you are and to whom you belong. The Psalm and the Old Testament spoke of God's knowledge of his people, his knowing of each person by name. Jesus echoes this when he speaks of the unique value of each person and the, needs, the need for us to recognize God's provision and love for us. You are who you are due to parents, family, friends and mentors. I've no doubt that in time you will come to realize even maybe more so than now how important this is. If we are to be integrated people true to ourselves, we need to know who we are to know where we come from. But we also need to know to whom we belong. And the opening psalm that Lizzie read, Psalm 139, leaves us in no doubt as to who gives us life and who holds us in being. You have completed your schooling at a school high on the hill that has held it on firmly to certain core values since it opened over 127 years ago. Esse quam videri being rather than seeming to be. This past week has reminded me of what a privilege it is to work in a community like this. Staff and pupils have been so remarkably kind, sensitive and supportive. As a school, we stand in the Methodist traditions of inclusiveness, community, love of God and neighbour and service. At this school, we are reminded by word and example of various essential values standing for truth, honour and justice. Not only knowing 
what is right, but doing what is right. Walking the walk and not just talking the talk. Do what you have to do, what is required of you. Hold on to those things that are pure, lovely and honourable. Hold on to those values that are not open for debate. The Methodist ethos has left its mark on many people who have gone on to make remarkable contributions in the world. Some I've read about just recently include Nelson Mandela, Kofi Annan, Margaret Thatcher, just to name a few. We stand in the same tradition. John Wesley's rule for living was a simple one. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. That's our challenge. As you leave school and go into the world, remember who you are, remember where you come from, remember whose you are. Remember that we are called to an abundant life, free of all anxiety as we place our trust for all our needs in the one who knows us by name. And may God bless all of you in what the future holds for you. Amen.